Surya Namaskar, Surya or Sun, is a source of energy for all living beings inhabiting Earth. Surya Namaskar helps in the harmonious development of our body, keeping our mind focused and sharpening our intelligence. Surya Namaskar is considered to be important for our spiritual development. Surya Namaskar consists of a set of eight yogic postures performed in a sequence of 12 steps. Practicing it at the time of sunrise and sunset is considered to be most beneficial. Stand straight with both the feet together without drooping your shoulders. Ensure that your arms are by the side of the body and your chin is parallel to the ground. Balance the body equally on both the feet. This is Samastiti. To do the first step, while inhaling, bring the palms in front of the chest and join them together in the Namaskara Mudra. This is called Pranam Asana. Now exhale. Second step. While breathing in slowly, stretch your body from waist up. Raising both your hands up above your head, bend your head and waist backwards. Keep your legs straight. This asana is called Hasta Uttanasana. Now for the third step. Slowly breathe out and bend your body forward till both palms touch the floor on either side of your feet. Remember that while bending down, both your arms and head are together. This asana is called Padhastasana. Fourth step. In this step, while taking a deep breath, take your right leg back and rest your knee on the floor. Ensure that the right leg is on your toes. Knee of your left leg is at an angle of 90 degrees. Both your palms are on the floor. Your hips are down and the chin is up. This is called Ashwasanchalan Asana. In the fifth step, while breathing out, take your left leg back in such a way that it's in line with your right leg. Ensure that your hands and shoulders are in a straight line and your shoulders, back and hips are also in a straight line. This asana is called Santulan Asana. In this position, slowly breathe in. Sixth step, exhale slowly. Keep both your knees on the floor at the same time and also place your chest and forehead on the floor. Ensure that your hips are up and your elbows are close to your body. This asana is called Shastang Namaskara because eight parts of your body, namely both the toes of your feet, both the knees, both the palms, chest and forehead are in contact with the floor. Remember that the body weight is equally distributed on all these eight parts. Now for the seventh step, while breathing in, take your pelvis down and slide your head and chest forward, and lift the upper section of your body till the navel. Ensure that the toes of your feet are pointing outwards and the legs are straight. This asana is called Ujjang Asana. Eighth step, while slowly breathing out, Take your toes inwards. Raise your hips up to the point so that your body takes the shape of a mountain. Ensure that both your legs are straight, palms on the floor, and head is in between your arms. Try to touch your heels to the floor. This asana is called Parvata Asana. For the ninth step, Bring your hips down and while breathing in, bring your right leg forward. Keep the knee of your left leg on the floor and go back to Ashwasanchalan Asana. Tenth step. In this step, bring your left leg also forward and while breathing out, come back to Padhasnasana. Eleventh step. While breathing in slowly, raise your body 
Take both your hands up and go back to the Hasta Uttanasana. Ensure that while coming up, your arms and head come up at the same time. Twelfth step. While slowly breathing out, stand straight again in Pranam Asana. Now repeat the whole sequence with your left leg. Surya Namaskar increases the capacity of your lungs. Surya Namaskar improves metabolism and is found to be very useful in the management of diabetes. Surya Namaskar regulates the secretions of endocrine glands. Surya Namaskar helps to manage your weight and helps to strengthen your spine and back muscles. People suffering from high blood pressure should take precautions while doing Surya Namaskar. People suffering from hernia and peptic ulcer should avoid doing Surya Namaskar. Patients suffering from sciatica, cervical spondylitis, and also acute arthritis should avoid doing Surya Namaskar. Women should avoid doing Surya Namaskar during their monthly menstrual cycle and also during pregnancy. Regular practice of Surya Namaskar helps in detoxification of your body, removes laziness, thus revitalizing the entire body.